The concept of the backrooms is interesting because of how it taps into one of those innate human intuitions that is felt deeper than an idea, but also more specifically than an emotion. Imagine clipping out of reality to an indoor environment that is familiar to us in modernity, but everything's just too simple, too featureless. The space is empty of almost all objects. There are no people. What is there doesn't fit together quite right. And although the paths you explore do take you somewhere, it's no more of a where than any place else. If you're like me, then you've probably imagined this without even trying, in your dreams. Apparently being trapped alone in a liminal space is a pretty common one, so there's obviously some universal problem that your psyche needs to grapple with. In my case, it starts in an old library or a college. Low ceilings, cramped rooms, all wooden surfaces covered in artefacts, lit by the orange glow of gas lanterns. Everything's interesting, and I briefly examine what I can as I pass by, because the purpose is to go further in, and down. This is clearly underground. Curiosity is eventually overcome by the realisation that I haven't kept track of which doorways were taken. I turn around and try to retrace my steps, but it's obvious that no room entered is familiar and I'm definitely not going upwards. Picking up the pace, the once fascinating details fade out. There's no panic or anger, just the quiet desperation of trying to find the way out. So, as a game, how does the complex tap into this notion of the backrooms? That definite, though hard to describe, intuition about spaces. You've been watching it the whole time. The incredibly realistic environment is rendered using modern ray tracing techniques, then processed with the low tech presentation of an 80s VHS camera complete with film grain, tracking issues, lens distortion, etc. The heavy motion blur and weight given to the movement really makes you feel like someone trying to push their way through to somewhere else. Okay, the execution nails the concept, but this is a walking simulator, less than an hour long, and I don't often talk about games here, so why am I? Well, just as my dream is a more specific version of that overall concept, so the second level of the complex nails something specific that was real. I grew up in a weird place, though I didn't know it at the time. A small highland village of only a couple thousand. It had amenities that really shouldn't have been there, since they were enough to make most cities envious. My parents worked in the pool, so the routine before school was full of contrast. Walking through a quiet forest, into the bustling centre, then, before it opened, training in the pool. 
The thing is, to stop people thinking it was open, all of the pool lights were kept off. Except for the underwater lights. If you've never been alone in a place like that, it has a particular atmosphere. Uniform tiles. Chrome railings. Reflections everywhere, both sharp and diffuse. Water caustics thrown onto all surfaces. This is the complex found footage to give it its full title. There are several levels, all different, so perhaps you'll find one that sparks something similar in you. It's free on Steam, and because it's using Unreal Engine 5, the ray tracing is provided by Lumen, a software solution. So, if like me, you don't have a hardware ray tracing capable graphics card, as long as it's powerful enough, you can still play this. <laughs> 